Uh, thank you, uh, everybody, for coming to your meeting, your organization, your umbrella, Muslim Chess Forum. It was a dream to have this and put the Muslims, one, one of the challenges, to put the Muslims together on one table. Extremely challenging. It's more important than the humanitarian challenges in Syria or Iraq or Yemen or anywhere else. It's more challenging. But alhamdulillah, we are succeeding and we are not going to stop. This is the first challenge. Uh, uh, Dr. Uthman is to bring the Muslim to sit down and to be united on one platform in spite of the fact the Islamophobia and the Islamophobes okay, <coughs> the counter-terrorism policy which is heading and maybe Sarah will know better than myself certain organization and certain culture and the money transfer and the restriction and the listing and all these kind of things is happening okay, and it's still happening and the, the laws which have been changing Actually, every now and then, counter-extremism, radicalism, and so on, so on, so When people talk about it, they just point their fingers to a certain group of organization with certain culture and certain religious backgrounds. But we have to succeed, and we are succeeding. As Jangir mentioned, that we just came from the borders of Turkey and uh, Lebanon with Syria, and talk about success story of those British humanitarian organizations. Actually who spent on Syria nearly 200 million pounds over the last five years. Okay, not all of them, but a few of them. And we need to record this to the government and to the public. And this is, this is a success story. When you get the parliamentarian to understand your vision and your mission and to let them to take the challenge with you, extremely important. Okay, whether it's Lebanon or Turkey or other places. And uh, what if the ch one of the challenges of the last uh, two years is the charity bill, which was discussed in the, in the House of Commons with the Select Committee. We managed, as Muslim Charities Forum, to put, to, to put uh, uh, an issue of working in an area controlled by prescribed groups. It was not on the agenda at all. With all the, all the points of discussion was actually how the good governance of the organization the transfer of money internally, but nobody was looking at the international side. But Muslim Shahid's firm managed in this meeting on 9th of December, which was supposed to be my birthday, and they were celebrating in the House of Commons. So the Lord the Chairman picked up on the, the statement and he put it as a recommendation to the government. That's why we went in a partnership with the Charity Commission to organize this kind of workshops in different cities to tackle this kind of problem. We are working in Somalia, you are working in Syria, in, 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 Syria and in Iraq and other places, and they don't want to be prescribed because I'm helping those people. It's another challenge. But we're changing it to a success story. The second success story and the challenge as well against the Islamophobe is your success stories in the flooding in the country here, in Cambria and in uh, uh, York. And I've got a lot of organization here, which actually was showing not only that they, are, can, they can deliver and work on the international platform, but they are successfully working in UK to help everybody and anybody because we are all British. So we have to change the challenge into a success story. And this our, our, our challenge is to make the challenge not to stop us. And we're not going to be stopping. We'll be unstoppable because we have a duty, we have a message, and we have a, 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 a mission to accomplish. Uh, as well. And uh, so we succeeded in here, we succeeded in here. All what's been written about Muslim Charities Forum in the media by certain individuals, okay, we respond to them by action. Not by hiding, not by diving, by action. And we're acting. We're acting with everybody and anybody. And it takes time. We have to be very, very patient with our organization as Muslims before we start to go to the public. Because sometimes our organization do not use to get to sit down as an umbrella organization. We still one of the challenges we are facing is the ego of each organization, which is very difficult. And this has, we have to work on it. It's not only happening to the Muslim charities, but happening actually to us. But actually, our success stories is changing this ego into a success stories and success stories uh, uh, as well. So, we're going from here to see that 2016 will be one of the successful story of Muslim Charities Forum. We started in 2009, but we are here for another 100 years. Is that right, Brother Amir? Or 200 years? With you, your leadership, under your leadership, okay? So we can meet in 2,300, 
both me and you on a cup of tea in, uh, in Soho Road and with Diane, yeah. about all of us. <laughs> so we are not, because this is the mission, has to be uh, taken by, from generation to generation. The last challenge which I mentioned is the governance in our boards has to be tackled. The presence of youth and women into them. Alhamdulillah, Muslim Shahid's Forum, we're headed by a young woman, not only just a uh, young, uh, uh, new uh, woman which is coming there to lead this dynamic organization called Muslim Shahid's Forum. Okay? But this is a challenge. The people on the boards have to give the leadership to the second generation and the third generation while they are there on the boards. Because any humanitarian organization or social organization is belonging to the community and should be community driven. So participation of youth, participation of women, participation of other schools of thought in your organization. And this is very, very challenging, the governance. A governance is very challenging to all the Muslim charities or to majority of the Muslim charities, but we're still facing uh, this uh, uh, issue. So I've got internal challenges and external challenges, but we are responding to this by the success stories that we are making together. And the success of these two journeys in Lebanon and, uh, and uh, Turkey, Amran was there in Lebanon, and Jangir was there in Turkey with uh, Osman and myself, that we come back with a story to tell the public what have been doing. was not just transferring money to nobody, and nobody knows what's it, but when you talk to the people who call them beneficiary, but they are actually the people who really pay our salaries as uh, destitute, as, uh, as play, displaced, as refugees, as orphans, come back with this success story to the public to convince them that your money went to, uh, through the right hand to the right people. So we are meeting the challenges. This is, this is the, uh, the, the name of my uh, reminder or my uh, intervention with a success story, with action. Meet the challenge with a positive action to develop the community, to build the community, and to counter the Islamophobe. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hani. Absolutely. Well, yes. Maybe the success of the chair. <laughs>